Manscaped. The only way that you've never heard of them is if you never use any electronic devices. Oh, this feels great. Now, I've got nothing against Manscaped, and all that this giant list of corny advertisements means is that they're making a lot of revenue. And personally, I'd love to find a way to cut myself a slice of that testicle-shaped pie. But Joel, you say, we don't come to you for personal grooming advice. I mean, you wear a damn Ushanka all the time. Fair point. That is why I have built the ultimate in personal grooming devices. You've seen the Manscaped lawnmower trimmer. Now behold, the Weed Whacker! Wait, they've, they've got a Weed Whacker now? Shh. Okay, everything on their website is based on farm terminology. Okay. Now behold, the Thresher! The Harvester? I don't know. I mean, who really is gonna put this thing anywhere near their balls? Basically, I just wanted a reason to take the toothbrushes off of my homemade electric toothbrush and attach some razors instead. I mean, the toothbrush was surprisingly effective at cleaning teeth, so maybe this thing will be surprisingly effective at... You know what? Let me get my friend Stefano and see what he thinks first. Let me see if you can figure out what I want to do next. <laughs> oh, dear God. You know how many little nicks are just gonna be all over your face if you put that into use? It's not for your face. Oh. <laughs> no. Awesome, Stefano is on board, which is great because I need him to help me test it out on his uh, tennis balls. Oh. oh, that's good stuff. Of course, we need to make these tennis balls resemble regular balls as closely as possible. Whatever, ah, it's dripping hot glue. I should put them in like a vise. There we go, all right. Okay, like another... this is kind of funny. You do two at the same time. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, we need to go faster. It just shaved a flat spot on the... I hope it's okay to breathe this stuff. <laughs> you know, I think you're supposed to shave them from the underside. Look at the pile on the ground. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We're like down to the actual construction of the ball. So, this is undoubtedly the best way to shave your tennis balls. But if it's gonna be better than the lawnmower, I really need to demonstrate its versatility. So what if we could use it on something like a face? Oh. I gotta get the upper lip. Oh no! Even the toughest beard is no match for the thresher. And it may also have further applications in facial reconstructive surgery. But Joel, you say, these analogs are not representative of a living and breathing test subject because they can't move or cry out in pain. Well, we got you covered. <laughs> yeah, Elmo is one fucking noisy piece of shit. Wow, just look at that beautifully shaven Elmo. And if it can handle a tough job like that, then just imagine the effect that the Thresher is gonna have on your nads. <laughs> at this point, it's pretty clear to me that the Thresher is exactly the kind of high-performing tool that Manscaped has just gotta add to their lineup of quality male grooming products. They did ignore my emails, though. So let's thank my Patreon supporters instead. I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Joel Creates. I've been a little irritated at the number of Manscaped ads I've been seeing lately, specifically targeting my Manscaped nads. Now, I can't afford a lawnmower 2.0 or a lawnmower 3.0. I spent all my money on a quality lawnmower for my actual nice verdant yard that's currently covered in snow. But anyway, I, I don't have a hundred bucks to drop. I'm just a lawnmower, specifically for shaving my beautiful ball sack. So I had to create my own alternative. God damn it, Joel. <laughs> <laughs>